Alright. Alright. Hooray. Hooray. Welcome Hooray. back. Hooray. Welcome Hooray. back to the morning zoo crew. Cool beans. <laughs> cool beans. With cool Tim beans. and the jerk. <laughs> the damn the douche. <laughs> I would love to be on a morning zoo crew because it is just ridiculous. <laughs> the morning zoo. Hey, wake up. Wank, wank. Ah, thanks for joining us on this beautiful Monday morning. <laughs> 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 Toilet sounds. <laughs> and everybody always laughs the same way. It's like... <laughs> And it's like, hey, Tim, what'd you do this weekend? I know what I did. Honk, honk. Jim's wife. So what are we doing? Why am I not? Just, did, is the video paused or something? Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course it was. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we are. Gotcha. Wah, wah. You got, got by the Tim and the jerk. <laughs> We should get a little soundboard. We should get a soundboard. Honk, honk. Wamp, wamp. <laughs> uh, but we have phones that have soundboards on them. I'm and we have that it. keyboard I already programmed into a soundboard. Yeah, but that'd be like a whole nother laptop. A whole nother. We'd need a whole nother we laptop. We could use this laptop. So the phrase a whole nother is a yeah, thing. Yeah, that's... Okay, first of all, not a word. First of all. <laughs> not it. Second of all. Second of all and third of all, not words. So that that's disgusting. First of all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, stupid. It's crazy. But now people are like, I want to, I want to keep it around. It's like a new word. Yeah, but it's a stupid. It's a new stupid. Word. <laughs> first of all, my favorite is the ADHD. Like, I have <laughs> the number ADHD. That's a lot of HDs. Man, you got eighty of them. This, I've never heard that before. ADHD. <laughs> well, I just have ADD. But not eighty of them. I don't have ADHDs. Wow, people are stupid. I have a DD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my designated driver. He has AD, ADHD. Uh, but yeah, a whole nother is a weird kind of thing. A whole nother, everyone yeah. Everyone says it. I what's thought, another? What's another? A whole nother. Yeah, what's another? N O T H E R. I get another. Yeah, another. Let's go to the nother store. Another is a word, but a nother. A nother. A whole nother. <laughs> But saying a hu- another whole video, it's like, sounds weird. I'd like another whole thing. Yeah, that is strange. Or a whole another. <laughs> <laughs> you ate a whole another cake? <laughs> I wonder what the... I love picking apart grammar. Just when it started, a whole another. Because I just realized one day that I say that, and then I heard it everywhere. I hear so many people say You know say a uh, thing that comes from, uh... I think it's up from Michigan and some other places. What's that? A couple three. A couple three? Yeah. Uh, uh, a couple is two. Yes, but people say, I think they're trying to say two or three. Right. Like so a couple, couple or three. But you hear a couple three just as a, a single right. single thing, and that doesn't make a lick of sense. I watched a video yesterday, or maybe it was Friday. Um, it was a CGP Grey video, I think. I watched that too. Which one? All of them. Oh. <laughs> but but was, he posted a new one this week. I think it was him, and he was talking about the difference in numbers between the UK and yep. US. And it was like 2300, they'd say 2300, or. Right. Or That's one of my favorite shortcuts, though. Oh, I, I love, love it. 1100, 1200, like that's. 5200. Right. It yep. sounds better. It's easier to say. Mm-hmm. And then we'll see if they like double double two instead of 22, something like that. Double two? Double two. Weird. If you were reading a, a long number. You know, instead of okay. saying, like, if it was a phone number, you'd say, like, 5300, zero, zero, they'd say 5300. That seems almost as long. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's not really a shortcut, it's yep. just how they say it. But sure. then do you say, like, triple zero, triple three? Trip, trip zero. Forple? Forple. <laughs> that sounds like the greatest startup company, like, yeah, Forple? Did, did you just oh, yeah. log on to Forple? I just kissed my <laughs> Forple account. Yeah, log on to Forple. Uh, yeah, that does. We should name, we should, ah, oh, we should go back in time. But what does it do? Instead of calling us Tim and Matt Play, we'll just call it Forpal. <laughs> Forpal. <laughs> but we gotta remove some vowels. Forpal games. Oh yeah, it's just the number four. Oh, the number four pull. P L E. P. Oh no. Oh no. P L. P O L E. Four pull. Four pull. Welcome to four pull. Ew, I don't like it. Just without the e, just four pull. Yeah, the the number four and then P L. Yeah, four pull. Four pull. Have you ever seen uh, Silicon Valley, the show that was on? No. Uh, HBO. No. 
It is pretty good. Is it good? They had one about coming up with a name for their company. And he's like, I got the way to do it. And it was like this total hippie guy. And he like takes a bunch of peyote, goes to the <laughs> desert, and just thinking of names. <laughs> and they have all these like icons swirling around him. It was a good, good little sketch. Was it just a sketch show? No, it was. It was like an episode, but that little bit. Oh, okay. Of that. okay. No, I don't. I don't. It was do, done by uh, Mike Judge, <clears throat> the guy who did King of the Hill. And I don't uh, have the money for HBO. Well, there are uh, other ways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. My parents don't have an HBO Go account. Well, there's your to. problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not piggybacking on anyone else's <laughs> HBO Go account except for yours when I want to watch <laughs> except for Game, <laughs> Game of Thrones. Of Thrones. <laughs> Man, it seems like nobody pays for Game of Thrones because it's the number one most torrented show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, for like two or three years now. And everybody I know is just like, oh, yeah, I got my parents' friends' HBO yeah. account. <laughs> my Netflix account has like 80 users. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's just volume. They must just have a lot of people who yeah. have that one HBO account. Or people are just like, yeah, whatever, I'll just buy my own. Yeah, that's how it par- uh, started for my parents. They're like, we'll give you free HBO, and then they never stopped right. HBO. Or I think a lot of people just get HBO and Showtime because they want sports packages. They want like the max uh, that yeah. cable does, and it comes with mm-hmm. it. It's in that tier. I don't even have cable because I never watch it. Because your parents give you internet cable for free. No, I don't I don't use internet cable. Uh, I mean, just a- yeah, HBO. <laughs> yeah. We, don't, we have cable, but we don't have the top tier. We have like the... The cheapest one. You're like Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm getting toe up. Man, look at that. Corpsified. It's because you're in this derpy little car. Man, and you're but they just get a hated one. my guts. Well, you were in that scrum. I was. I, I was in that dust up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kerfuffle. <laughs> uh, kerfuffle. Other one that I don't like. Kerfuffle. Yeah, people say kerfuffle. It's ker- kerfuffle. Yes, it is kerfuffle. <coughs> yeah, I know. I'm that Pardon upset. me. That I'm coughing. Yeah, I, uh, one of my favorite things to do is to, to search Twitter for common misspellings and retweet the crap out of them. There's a friend of mine who does every about every week. He does your uh, idiot, yeah. <laughs> and he does like 20 retweets of people saying your uh, idiot. Y O U R. I the most recent one I did was I retweet a bunch of people who said Valentine's. Valentine's. And I had to sort through the ones that were saying it ironically to make that fun is of hard. The people. Yeah, sometimes they do. I could kind of tell because they're like, "Ain't no time like Valentine's." That's what I, I always like, sound like. Ain't no good. time <laughs> like Valentine's. But the ones that are just like, "Happy Valentine's Day," at whoever my sweetie is. <laughs> my sweetie. At Bay, Happy at, Valentine's. Oh man, <laughs> Bay Day. Bay Day, Happy Valentine's Bay Day. The Bay of Pigs. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a perfect name for someone you don't like. The it. Bay of <laughs> I'm gonna tweet that right now. Nailed it. Live tweeting. <laughs> Check it on Twitter. Live right now, except it, in the past. Live on tape delay. Yeah, if you were like, we don't do streaming or Twitch or whatever, but people could just constantly watch our Twitter for yeah, when we start like, recording. They must be recording. They're doing things. But that it also implies that like a lot of people are caring about our lives at all and what we do. And they don't. They don't no, no one cares except for Spooky Guys. Yeah, Spooky Guys is the best. Spooky though. Guys, uh, we're going to mention you in every video. Yeah. It's worth probably. yeah, man, this is direct interaction. I don't know what else to write. So far I have Bay of Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no that context. That seems like if... if if we're writing an SNL sketch, yeah. like it's just on the wall. It's They're like, it on the whiteboard. Let's, let's, we got the punchline. Yeah. Let's go with Big it. Big empty box beneath yeah. it for people to put ideas into. <laughs> Bay of Pigs. Hashtag X Bay. That's done. Valentine's Day. Valentine's. <laughs> Tweet accomplished. <laughs> We're going to get all the likes. <laughs> if you like that, why don't you like, comment, subscribe, retweet, and like us on Facebook. Follow. Uh, follow. Follow, follow, follow. Follow, follow, follow. Retweet. Uh, follow Friday us. Follow. Uh, I'm doing a, a follow spree. Uh, Ten minutes. Do people still do follow Fridays? They do follow sprees, I know. I always see it on Vine. They're like, oh, I'm following. Oh, everybody. I hate that. Yeah. Like, For uh, the next ten minutes, I'm going to follow everybody who follows and me. And the Vine is just... Like, I, I, I guess Vine has turned into something that I didn't expect. Like, I was just like, oh, it's cool to post a video. 
but people are just talking on it like it's a like it's a vlog or something. So I subscribe to a bunch of people who do like sketches. Like that's what I watch. Yeah, like mini sketches. those are super funny yeah, too. They're super funny, and they're usually like a group of people. There's like six people, right? And they're all together like on weekends and in LA, and sketches. then they do vines. Man, there's some people who just like, hey, uh, shout out to. Uh, and that cuts out. <laughs> like, all right, yeah. cool. Cool video, man. I'm going to follow below, like, and subscribe for the videos. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all the videos are. Yeah. They're just waste. Some are like, go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you like this vine, check out my YouTube video. So I've is... seen um, people cut up a YouTube video and be like, for full video, come to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is stupid. Just like the Vang Bros. Yeah. We don't have a vine. And I don't think we need one. We don't need a vine. That's no. the most boring thing. All right, so I believe I have the pass to Boozina, and I'm going right now. Oh, what is this going to look like? We already know. Actually, everyone who follows our Twitter should know, because back in the day, I tweeted a picture of the art from Boozina. But here it is. Boom. Man, this is the purplinest. Purpley. I love purple and green color scheme. One of my favorites. Super villains. Yes. I think it looks great. So anyway, uh, a little backstory on Boozina. It's basically a giant puzzle. There are these symbols scattered around the world with letters next to them, and you have to um, use a code that was given to you if you transport an Elipod or a Beaverad or a Zeekson in the box after doing a tabby task, and you take him to wherever it tells you to go, and the person you deliver it to says, hey, he had a secret message for you. And that's what I saved, if you've been watching my save file, um, it's part of my save file right now, it's like Cabe Cod or uh, something like that. It's like C-A-B-E-K-O-D. Yes. And Your password. It, it took me, a, when I first started playing this, it took me a really long time to realize that that's what that thing meant. And it's not like you'll get a different one. Whatever game you're in, anytime you get that secret message, it's the same code. But it just it's specific to your save. To, to your save slot or so whatever. So if I start a new game, I might get a different code. But I would get the same code over and over, so that's how they do that, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's Cape Cod, so I have to then, once I find all my symbols, so I So you have need, to like run over the letters? Well, I just have to find them. Oh, yeah, once I start doing the puzzle, which is that thing in the middle, mm -hmm. this big thing right, yes. right next to me, I just go bump into the symbol, but I have to do it in the correct order. Right. And if I get it wrong, it starts over. And this, so this is one of the like coolest uh, secondary worlds, and it's not dangerous at all. I like the nerve endings. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what they modeled them probably after, right? Oh, yeah. Nerve endings. Or uh, fractals. Something like that. The only dangerous thing in this world are those Easter Island statues that shoot little things at you, but they don't hurt you very much, and you can avoid them super easily. The other uh, secondary worlds are very deadly. This one is just kind of fun. I like it. I like it, too. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. I don't know what's taking me so long. I had trouble finding one of the symbols. I'm writing them down. That's why I keep pausing because I had a little notepad. You didn't I, take video of you writing them down. Writing them down. No, I didn't. Oh my god. Our viewer. I know. I know. So how long will it take you to, to mod uh, my Genesis for that output stuff? Duh. After I order the parts, which will probably come in a couple days, uh, probably like a couple hours maybe. Yeah? Yeah. I want to do it neatly. Especially if you're going to record it. Uh, yeah, I guess I can record it. We should. Um, Maybe not the whole process, but just like a how-to video behind the scenes. Actually, that would probably be useful to a lot of people. Um, That's because how we make that big money. There, Yeah, yeah there's just YouTube a views. video output chip, and then you got to take three of the legs and a sync signal, I think. And then uh, and the sync signal might already be there. And then solder those up and make it look neat and don't ruin anything. Look at this crazy place. There's flashing lights and gizmos. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a, almost looks like a merry-go-round a little bit. Yeah, a carousel. Is there is that a regional thing, merry-go-round versus carousel? I don't think so. I think a merry-go-round is like what you find on a playground, and a carousel has horses and stuff. Oh, really? Because I just called them synonymously. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're two different things. So maybe it's a regional thing to call a carousel a merry-go-round. Mm. But yeah, merry ground is just the thing on the playground that's metal and dangerous because you can make Boy, it go as fast that, as you want. Those were so fun. That's I remember the best being thing. thrown off oh, yeah. and like 
yeah, you could get real injured. Right into the gravel. Because you're like, that's, that's oh, this is going to be great. And you start out, you're like, yeah, faster. There's always that guy who's like, kaboom, kaboom, And then kaboom. you're like, yeah, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to sit on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to die. There's that YouTube video, that guy who puts a moped up against it and uses the, the bet rear wheel Whoa. of like a little motorcycle. That's super and cool. And this guy who's on the mirror ground goes flying. I imagine, it. yeah. so funny. I saw it on Taj Porno. Well, no big deal. So I've got I got the Mechanic Messiah. Hey, hey, Del- somebody's Del- playing Elder, Elder Scrolls. Uh, Mechanic Messiah is the um, evil counterpart to the Protractor, but it lets you do some cool stuff like cloak, like I'm cloaked right now. That's pretty cool. It's if awesome. Look, I like the outline with the black. There's a really sweet uh, art from the game that I can't find, and it's the last Moggy cloaked, and you can tell it's the last Moggy by some of the shapes. With that ring of fire around it, that uh, you can also do with the mechanic Messiah, mm-hmm. it looks really cool. You're really not cloaked cool. anymore. Nah, once I transport, I'm not cloaked anymore. The problem with the mechanic Messiah is that it's really awesome. Um, it has three main abilities that are useful: that cloak, the um, fireball ring, and you can do a thing called shake up, which knocks anyone who's in your vicinity. All their stuff just falls out of their car, and you can just pick <laughs> it up. So if they're shooting you, just hit shake up, and they lose all their guns and stuff. It's awesome. But you can't take it into the S cave. Like the the counselor will yell at you and kick you right back out. So you have to drop it whenever you go in. When you drop stuff, uh, does it reappear when you come out of? the If S-cave? your dominance is high enough, it'll stay, and it'll stay after you save the game, reload it. It's there. Wow, that's like pretty cool. That there's, there's a that ton type of, of object permanence yeah. in the world. And, and even if like if I go to Fostral and dump something, and then go a different world, whatever, chances are, it'll be there for the rest of my game. I'm just surprised that they managed to save all that data. Usually yeah. they just throw it away. Yeah, uh, I think the data files for this game get huge. If you there's a there's a button you can select in the options that is the uh, transformable landscape. Oh, so you can actually make Where permanent dents and yep, stuff. Yep, and it'll store it. So your car can, because you can jump, punch through stuff with your car all the time, but it'll save it. I bet you needed to have like a 10 gig hard drive. Oh, it's huge. It gets back huge. Then. Um, but I don't think it's worth it because then your car constantly is digging into the ground. Anywhere you bump, oh, really? the car is always doing it. And so it's it's almost impossible to play. I remember playing Red Faction. Like the first time Red Faction came out, that was their big thing. Like uh-huh. uh, destroyable uh, geometry. And, and so like you could just continually like dig a hole. Like keep blowing a hole. And I'm like, this is the coolest. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> was there a point it would just be this deep hole? No, oh, yeah, it'd just be a deep hole. It's just that you could do it. There's no, like, Easter egg, like, you dig in a I'm sure spot. that there are Easter eggs, oh, yeah. but, like, in general, it was just, like, I'm so going to there's make a hole in this wall and dig a giant... That's cool. What was it? There was a game called Gun or something? Black, yeah, maybe? Gun and Black are both games. But, okay, so which is the one that it was just you shot, the, like, open door, you had to shoot it? I think that's Gun. It's Gun? Like, yeah. just all you could do is shoot your gun? Those were both at the end of the generation of PS2. Those came out... Uh, okay. Gun was cross-platform between last gen... And then uh, next gen, so it was like GameCube and PS2, oh, okay. as well as Xbox 360. I see. I never played it. I just, I just know about it. Black is the game with all those shells on the cover. It says black. Oh yeah. And Gun has the uh, skull. On right. The okay. Case. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Didn't play it. I played Twisted Metal Black. Oh yeah. That game's great. Yeah, that was cool. I like Twisted Metal 2 is my favorite because you are you can play as Axel and he was dumb. You can play as Axel in Twisted Metal Black too. Can you? Yeah. He was such a stupid character. He's unlockable. That's why I like Oh, him. Axel's stupid. <laughs> the coolest thing. So Twisted Metal 2, you can play as Minion, right? You can yep. unlock Minion. Minion in Twisted Metal Black is terrifying. <laughs> like, his, you can play as him. And his car is this, like, oil tanker mm-hmm. with a big, like, oil gun on top and it shoots flaming, like, fuel at people. But the character... He's this crazy looking guy and he has a deer head on top of his head, like a hat. That like reminds just, me of like Hotline Miami. Yeah, because he's yeah. like the devil or whatever in yeah. T- Twist Metal 2. He's got horns and stuff. So they like kind of pulled that through for Black, but he's got deer antlers because he has this deer head on him. It's crazy. Cray. Okay, but I have some beef with Twisted Metal Black. Lay it on me. So we played four player with the... Uh, the multi-tap. The multi-tap, right? But the four player maps are the smallest maps. Mm-hmm. But you go to play two-player, and all of a sudden unlocks all the huge maps. You know why? Why? The hardware limitation. Uh, oh, yeah, because yeah. more people on there is yeah. harder. 
But man, I was like, why can't we play four people on the biggest maps? It makes the most sense. Yeah. No, it's just, it's really, you'll notice too, like, frame rates will drop and yeah. stuff. And right, when you play sense. multiplayer, textures will drop I, out. You see, I just did. I just made all those dudes' stuff pop out of their cars. And then I'm going to firework them. Kaboom. That EMP effect is kind of neat. Man, that guy exploded forever. Oh, yeah, the little, like, <laughs> yeah. like the, the, the rings of uh, distortion that yep. pop out. Yeah, it's cool. cool. So, the, yeah, the protractor draws those little symbols on the ground. And the stuff you can do with the protractor is useful, like resize yourself and put a little shield, but it's all about, like, defensive and um, stuff that helps you out. And the mechanic messiah is all about killing everyone else. So it's kind of like the evil version. Kind of like the light and the dark side. See, and he's mad at me because I've got it with me and he's going to kick me out. But that's the end of my video, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're loading something, though. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm loading just to see if he'll let me, but... Freeze, culprit. But no. I can't go to the store or anything. He's going to push you right out. But I think that's it. All right. Next time. On the next time. Fart.